Today, I would like to introduce you about the flexibility and innovation of medical technologies. So as we all know, the world changed day by day. Everything become more modern and innovative, and so is technologies. There are many inventions that found in different fields, and medicine are one of the industry that technologies evolve equally. So before going straight into my presentation, I would like to introduce you a little bit about what is medical technologies. So, what is medical technologies? We can call it with a shorter name, which is MedTech. These are the products, service, and solution used to save and improve people's life by preventing and diagnosing. Medical technologies are with you all the time, from the pregnancy test to the ultrasound scan. This has been with you before you were born. And when you fall and scratch your knee, you wear a plaster. And if your vision blur, you wear a class. Those are the simple medical technologies have been very similar to us. And when you feel unwell, diagnosis and medical device help professional to restore you as well as soon as possible. So, how innovative the medical technologies change? The medical technologies advanced in the last 15 years may have changed the practice of the in the medicine, but these also save people life increase access to care, and improve our quality of life. Take a brief look back to the medicine in the 1960s, will bring us a more realistic picture of the past and put out to the more hopeful futures. 50 years ago, the leading cause of death in the U.S. is because of the heart disease. With the dead rates were nearly three times higher, 559 death per 100,000 Americans in the 1965. So the death rate become lower, only 192 in 2014. The incidence of cancers were lower in the 1960, but survival rate is also low because at that time, the medical technologies haven't been developed yet. Till now, the survival rate is nearly 30% higher before, the life expectancy in the U.S. was only 68, which means that most of the adults didn't live past their retirement age. To now, because of the availability and effective treatment, they have boosted the life expectancy to nearly 80. In the 1960, the scientists made a major advance in the understanding of the genetic code and the transfer of RNA, building on the waxing and quick 1953 discover of the DNA molecule structures and setting the stage for the exciting field of epigenomic, genomic, and the bioengineering. The 1960 saw the first development of the artificial heart and the balloon electomy catheter that allowed the first minimally evasive surgical procedures. Surgeons attempt the first heart and liver transplant, which these procedures nowadays save thousands and millions of people each year. The vaccine of rubella and mumps are introduced in also the 1960s that now have largely eradicated in the U.S. The scientists first made the synthetic insulin in the laboratory in also 1960. A decade later, commercial production of synthetic insulin made the life-saving treatment available to people who have diabetes all around the country and the world. So there are some of the most important medical development in the last 50 years. This one is antibiotics. They are the medicine fighting against the bacteria infections in our body and animals. They work by killing the bacteria and or make them hard to grow and multiply. This one is certain. They are cholesterol lowering drug that used intensively in prevention of the heart disease, primarily to those who have the high risk of this illness and patients who have experienced the heart attack and stroke before. This medicine has significantly lowered the death rate of this disease area. This one may seem similar to you as the imaging. They are the city and MRI revolutionized scanning the manner in our body to detect the disease like cancer or tumor. 
This will help us to inform the treatment in a range of the disease that we got. This one is also similar to youth, as the vaccine. These are the safe, simple, and effective way to protect yourself against the harmful disease before you come to contact with them. The development of the vaccine have against a range of infectious disease like smallpox, rubella, and also COVID-19. Thanks to this innovation that today we have a lot of technologies to cure the illness we thought we never do before. And how flexibly the medtech change. Look at these pictures we can see before and after. Imagine this was what it was 50 years ago. The doctor only came to check up a simple thing and give it the description of medicine without knowing what disease that we got because at the past we only know very little thing about a medical. This picture from the after is what we are right now. A lot of technologies are developed for us to cure our illness. From these pictures, we can see that we change a lot in the technologies, the ways that we approach, and the technology could process. Like, as we all know, suffering from the COVID-19, we got the vaccine just only one or two years after the COVID start. But before the vaccine, the 10 to 5 year, go through the three phases, got safety tests, then only then the vaccine will give it out to us. But right now, we only need one to two years that we can have the vaccine, which is much shorter, but also get the stay for us. So all, from all of this, the health care industry is not what is this 50 years, 10 years, or five years ago. This is largely due to the technology and the large number of innovative digital solutions that are introduced every day. Many technological have been proposed for several problems that the world of medicine are facing. They got the great leap change and improve the quality of the industry. There have been many breakthroughs in the data collection, treatment, research, and the medical device, such as the hearing aid, which have a huge impact on the medical work. And thanks to the technologies that today, we have a better and more accessible treatment for a wide range of disease, and also with a better and infection care for sick, better healthcare and disease control. This is my TED Talk. Thank you for listening.